Amanda, welcome back to my channel. So if you notice that my lighting in this video is a lot better, first of all, you have a really good eye. You must be very good at spotting little details. But second of all, it's true, I got a ring light and I was so excited. I literally got it today and I had to film a video with it right now. I feel like it looks a lot better. You guys can let me know what you think. But on to the actual video. Since my channel has been kind of on this fall kick, I thought I would continue it and today we're going to be talking about fall lipsticks. I don't know if it's just me, but during the fall time I feel more brave and I have more courage to adventure out into different unique lipstick colors. I thought today I would sit down and show you guys some of my favorites that I've been loving for this season. So. Without further ado, let's just get into the video. Why don't we just start with what I have on my lips right now. And this lipstick kind of inspired me to do this video because when I got it, I was like, oh my God, this is the perfect fall lipstick, like hands down. But what I'm talking about is the Pat McGrath Flush 2 lipstick. I actually do have the whole flush kit. So I do have flush one, the gloss, as well as the glitters, but flush two is definitely my favorite thing that I got out of the entire kit. It's very much so a dark nude. That's kind of the category that I would classify it under, but that's why I think it's perfect for fall because it does have those nude undertones, so you can definitely wear it every day, but it is on the darker side, so it gives you that fall vibe. And just all around, the Pat McGrath lipstick formula is the best lipstick formula. And I've tried a lot of lipsticks, guys, so for me to say that means a lot. So if you haven't had the chance to get your hands on one of these, definitely try to. I know you can get them on Sephora online. You can also get the lipsticks individually. So if you guys aren't interested in the glitters and the gloss, you can still get these individually and I still think they're definitely worth the money. So I know we all love to wear our nude lipsticks year round. It doesn't matter what time of year it is, but the type of nude lipstick that I like to break out during the fall season is this sort of cool toned nude that I have on right now. It definitely has more of a grayish brownish undertone rather than a pink undertone. And the one that I have on my lips right now is this Maybelline lipstick in the shade Truffle Tease. The formula of this is really amazing for a drugstore lipstick. It's very creamy and as you can see it's not matte. It definitely has a cream finish but I love this shade. I think it's very different from a normal nude. Usually in like the spring and summer I would go for something like Nude Kate from Charlotte Tilbury which definitely has a slight pink undertone. Oh, side note, these formulas are very similar. When I was like trying out all of the lipsticks on my hand, I was like swatching them all and I was like, dang, this Maybelline New York lipstick has a very similar formula to this um, Charlotte Tilbury lipstick and they are worlds apart in terms of prices. Definitely not the same in terms of color. I'm sure you can find closer dupes, but the formula, there's something, there's something going on here. So this is what I'm talking about when I say I feel a little bit more brave when it comes to lipsticks during fall because any other time of year I would not go for a color like this, but now that it's fall, this is completely normal. This is like a walk in the park for me. So um, I love wearing brown lipsticks. I feel like Kylie Jenner kind of started this whole thing. And this one to me kind of gives off a similar feel as True Brown K. Now I don't actually have any of the Kylie Cosmetics lip kits. So I don't have a side to side comparison of True Brown K compared to this. But like, to me that looks pretty similar. But this is the NYX Liquid Suede Cream Lipstick in the shade Downtown Beauty. I love this, it's literally just your standard brown. There's no red undertones, no weird gray undertones. It's just a brown. You can't get any more fall than this. In terms of the formula, obviously it's a liquid lipstick, so it is more on the drying side, but it's nothing too unbearable. If you really don't like the drying aspect, you can put a lip balm on top or a lip gloss and it'll fix that right up. Next up, we have the classic sort of fire engine red. And I used to be that person that'd be like, hell no, I cannot pull off a red lip and I would just steer clear of all red lipsticks. But like guys, life is way too short to be afraid of a stupid lip color. So I've just been going for it and I've been really into it recently. I feel like it definitely does give you a statement. Also another perk of wearing red lips is that you don't really have to do that well on the rest of your face because this will kind of just distract them from it. So <laughs> the shade that I have on my lips right now is the Makeup Forever Artist Rouge Lipstick in the shade M401. This is a matte finish and there's nothing else I can really say about the color other than the fact that it's just 
the classic red. There's no orange tones, it's not on the deep side, it's just straight up red. And I feel like this is just timeless. It'll also look really good during the holiday season. If you're wondering about the formula of these, because I do know that these are relatively new, I am obsessed. I mean, I wouldn't include a lipstick in this video if I wasn't really into the formula, but this formula in particular has really impressed me recently, especially for the darker shades. It is so pigmented and it doesn't bleed like this is without a lip liner. How crazy is that? What I will say is that it's not a long wearing lipstick. It definitely is not transfer proof, but it stays on pretty well. The last category is the berry lipsticks and other than the nudes, which obviously have a very special place in my heart, this is probably my favorite to wear during the fall time because like, guys, come on. Look at this. This is another one of the Makeup Forever Artist Rouge lipsticks. This one's in the shade C506. So since it has a C in it, that means it's cream. But I really like that it's a cream finish. It's definitely something different because I feel like with darker shades, you tend to see people wear them with matte finishes. And this one has a really nice satin finish or cream finish, I'm sorry. But this shade is like your perfect berry lipstick. I can't even describe to you how beautiful it is. I feel like in person it definitely does it a lot more justice than in camera because it's vibrant without being a bright lipstick and it's dark without looking completely black and it's just really amazing. Also again, like the previous one, I did this without a lip liner which is crazy to me because it's hard to get this opaque of a color and this clean of a line with a dark lipstick um, if it's not a liquid lipstick but you can definitely do that with this. I also have a little honorable mention. I didn't want to include it as the main category because um, I don't think it's actually out yet. And I think it's limited edition. So I don't want to recommend you guys a product that you can't actually get or won't be able to get if it's like all sold out. But it's this Bite Beauty Amuse Bouche Movember lipstick. And um, they sent this to me, but honestly guys, I love it. As you can see, it's such a great shade of mauve. Is it mauve or mo mauve? I just realized I've been saying mauve, but I don't know if it's mauve or mauve. Oh, I need to Google this later. But it's this Bite Beauty Amuse Bouche lipstick for Movember. Get it? The puns? Oh, so I guess it is mauve, not mauve. Because they wouldn't use that pun if it was mauve. Like, Movember doesn't make sense. Okay, oh my god. Back on track, Amanda. So the reason why this lipstick is called Movember, if you haven't figured out, is because it's for the Movember Foundation, which supports prostate cancer. So I really do love that By Beauty is a Canadian brand, and I know that the proceeds of the sales are going towards the Movember Foundation. The formula of these are insane. Like, the pigment is unbelievable on these. I absolutely adore the formula. I definitely need to try more Bite Beauty lipsticks out. This little lipstick has a lot of good karma. Um, you guys should definitely go try and pick one up, not just because of the charity aspect, but also because it is a genuinely amazing lipstick. But yeah, guys, that's it for this video. I hope you guys found it helpful. Maybe, hopefully, found a couple new lipsticks that you might want to pick up next time. I'm actually really curious to know if you guys have any favorite fall lipsticks. I'm always on the lookout, so leave me a comment below. That's the question of the day. If you want to do me a huge favor, you can hit that little bell button next to the subscribe because then you'll be notified whenever I do post a new video. I hope you guys have an awesome day and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye guys.